there's so much drama going on right now. Ooh. Oh. What is up all my social climate friends, it's Dustin and I'm back with another video. Before we get into this video, I just want to say that there has been so much that has went into this whole thing with Trisha, Ethan, Ela, Moses, Trisha's mom, and a whole bunch of other people that I am bound to miss something and this is what I have found, this is what I've seen on Twitter, this is what I've seen other people talking about and in no way by me missing something is that me trying to cover for Trisha because I know that people will try to say that. I just truly do not know everything that has went into this. I literally was just informed of this whole thing with Moses and apparently there was a whole bunch of stuff between Moses and his ex-girlfriend and him saying things about Trisha. I, I've been reading a lot of that because there's like whole Instagrams dedicated to that. There's whole like Reddit posts and then there's like things on TikTok. So I'm trying to decipher that. I may talk about that. I may not. I don't really know if I want to dip my toe into that because that's some very, very, very serious stuff. Um, so just with all that said, before we get into this, just know that this is not me trying to cover for anyone. I feel like Trisha is getting what she has put out finally because truthfully, Trisha had no problem dragging anybody in the past. Trisha has said so many different things. Trisha has made so many different videos about so many different people without caring about how it affected them or what they would go through after the fact. So I do believe in some kind of way that this is Trisha finally getting back what she has put out into the universe. Now, am I agreeing with the death threats and stuff? No, I don't think that anybody should be doing that, but holding someone accountable, if you find an inconsistency and in calling them out on it. Accountability can sometimes feel like an attack when someone's trying to make you be accountable for the things that you've done in the past. So I feel like a good portion of this is actually people trying to hold Trisha accountable. It is what it is, like you reap what you sow and finally everything that Trisha sowed for people is coming back to her. And it looks like it's tenfold and a lot of people are happy about that and a lot of people are upset about it. I'm kind of like in the middle. I mean, you can only do so much to people on the internet. You can only say so much. You can only do so much before it comes back to bite you. But Trisha basically, in my opinion, had just a nuclear meltdown yesterday. There's videos that Trisha posted to uh, Twitter that I'm gonna put in this video in a little bit once we get into it. For you guys just to see how like dramatic and how crazy all of this is, and I'm sure that it's overwhelming, but like I just said, if you say things on the internet and they don't add up and people come for you, it's kind of your own fault. So first and foremost, people have started a petition that has almost 100,000 signatures, or it did have 100, almost 100,000 signatures. It had 98,297 when I took the screenshot. So people are trying to get Trisha Paytas removed from TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and OnlyFans now. We've seen this in the past with a lot of different people. We know that that is probably more than likely not going to do anything. One, because they never listen to these things, and two, Trisha pretty much knows everyone on these social media platforms that would be like a connect for her. So I don't think that this is in any way going to affect Trisha Paytas and the social media accounts that she has. Now there was a lot of tweets that Trisha put out yesterday concerning her and Moses. Like I said, I'm not really gonna cover that in this video because I feel like that's a video in and of itself because there's just so much and just more and more keeps coming out about it. And I really truly in that respect, for Trisha, I feel bad with some of the things that I've seen that have allegedly been said by Moses. Like, this is someone that Trisha intends to marry. This is someone that Trisha does seem to really care a lot about. And for all of these messages to come out and then the other thing that is being accused of Moses is bad. So, I mean, in that respect, in that one thing, I do feel for Trisha on. If you ask me, I do feel like maybe the wool has been pulled over Trisha's eyes and that's sad to me. So Trisha retweeted Keemstar and Keemstar said H3H3 fans planning to go after Trisha Paytas' sponsors and Keemstar posted a picture of a Reddit thread that says send emails and tweets to Trisha's sponsors. Don't let Trisha weasel herself out of this one. Attack her money. Here are the sponsors I know of. Feel free to comment with any missed. Also tag YouTube and OnlyFans on Twitter as well. Now this is a touchy subject for many YouTubers and going after sponsors and going after people's way of making money, I really don't feel like that's appropriate because at the end of the day, these people do need money to live. But on the other hand, it's like, well, if this person is hurting so many people and this person is doing so much damage to people, why are they being sponsored? So, I mean, 
it's kind of like 50 50 for me I, I like the whole sponsor thing it's a mess then Trisha said it all starts from the reddit that they control and monitor we aren't just some random people they have beef with we have stopped they won't they're doing this to Moses and his workplaces too it's really too far and they don't care and then Trisha posted the text messages between Ethan Ela and herself and some of these text messages I was kind of shook by. So I'm gonna get into that now and read a few of these for you because they were kind of like really back and forth, hardcore at one another. And it was almost as if Trisha was begging and pleading Ethan and Ela to stop these people from doing this. When in reality, you can ask your subscriber base or your fan base or your followers to stop doing something. But at the end of the day, that doesn't mean that they're going to listen to you. You know what I mean? Like you can't really, directly control people that follow you in that way so I don't really understand why Trisha is begging and pleading with Ethan and Ela to stop this like they basically did put out a tweet yesterday that we're gonna read here in just a minute saying not to do these things but that does not mean that people are not going to continue to do said things. So Trisha sent a screenshot of this Reddit and then Ethan said, you need to make a statement on the Mr. Riley stuff. Now you guys, that is what is covered in the Mysterious Tea video that I posted and linked yesterday in my video. I really suggest that you go watch the Mysterious Tea series about all this. Now I do wanna note that a lot of people are saying that Trisha has said that this could be possibly a different teacher. I don't really know. It's not my place to judge. I'm just an observer of this situation and I'm not that far invested into it because everything that has been alleged from Trisha, it, it's bad and I like that stuff, it kind of bothers me. I am so sorry guys. My battery died and the camera got full. Like it's just one thing after another, but picking up where we left off, Ethan said, you need to make a statement on the Mr. Riley stuff. And Trisha responded and said, you do not get to tell me what I need to talk about. I've talked with his family. They were aware of the report I made as a child. They want it to go away. You do not get to tell me how to handle my essay. Ethan then said, this is FYI, not a private chat. So don't assume you have rights to privacy and I will share these screenshots if necessary. Trisha then said, wow, I'm pleading for you to just stop, please. And then Trisha sent this really, 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 really long message that said, I'm begging and please pleasuring for the last time to never mention me in passing again. Moses is now being falsely accused of I was as a child and the family had no idea. Now they are getting harassed because you guys are allowing the subreddit to post his name. I'm happy the frenemies was taken down. I was told inaccurate information as I often misspoke on situations that I just believe without researching. I had reported this as a teenager, there are reports of it. Every single time you guys make jabs at me, the hate riles up. They have doxed Moses' ex-wives. They are tweeting to more Lee's dance company that he is a And all of this is stemming from the H3 subreddit and your continued mocking of me. I have ceased talking about you. I will never got the rest of my life mention your name and will ignore every question. This is too much. This girl has a lawyer to sue Moses. Ethan then says, how do you know? And then she says, he has so many. I saw all the texts. Trisha says, wow, you guys know him. Ethan said, I just thought I did. I don't know him. I believe the victim. And then Trisha says, you are falsely accusing someone you know. You don't know this person. Oh my God. And then Ela chimes in and says, you are sending her hate nonstop. Think about what you're doing. And then Trisha says, I haven't said anything. And then Ela says, calling her a stalker. And then Trisha says, I'm fucking stopping everything. I just want this to end. And then there was quite a few more text messages. And it's basically just Trisha begging Ethan and Ela more to stop their fans from doing this. And literally there's nothing they can do. And then Trisha put out quite a few videos on Twitter that she said were not monetized and she was doing it for that reason. So I'm gonna put in a few of those here for you guys to see. I do wanna let you know that they are kind of hard to watch because Trisha is very upset. But like I said on Twitter yesterday, I can never really tell if Trisha is being genuine when she's crying or if this is tears because she wants something to stop. It's just also hard to decipher anymore because Trisha has lied so many times about so many different things. But I'll put that in here for you guys to see and then I'll be back with more commentary. <laughs> anything that we say they don't care they literally don't care they just want it's just it's just crazy they said it's too little too late i said it's not i'm calling the truth i'm asking for it to stop a fucking stop all of this starts from their h3 subreddit they can control and monitor <laughs> they're posting some about my mom my dad and just stop please <laughs> fucking stop 
I can't breathe. Shame on you, Poop. Why was fucking and everyone is reminding me of that person's name and telling me to apologize. Oh my god, this person. Oh my god, just falsely, and Moses is so falsely accused, and he's saying shame, shame on what? Is it believe all victims or believe all victims except for Trish? Like make up your fucking mind. Oh my god, I'm so inside myself. How's no one gonna have compassion? No one, and it's not even just for a random human being, another random human being, but for someone that they're in the family and they know. Oh my god, where's the fucking compassion? I stopped! I fucking stopped! Oh, please! Oh, please! I'm scared! I'm pleading! I'm pleading! I texted! I texted Ethan and Hila! Please stop! Stop talking about this! this was said and done Ethan then tweeted out and said hey guys we've decided to take a week off of the podcast I'm very sorry for everyone who depends and looks forward to the show we need it now for our mental health I'm very sorry we love you guys and thank you so much for the amazing vibrant community we are so grateful and then shortly after he put this tweet out Ethan put out another tweet and said please for the sake of Ela and I do not harass anyone involved while the accusations are extremely serious and emotions are understandingly high, we still need to observe common decency and not mob people with hate. And there were quite a few more tweets from Trisha about all of this, just basically saying, please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop, please stop. And that's what we're left with aside from all the stuff with Moses. Now, I knew that this situation was going to be messy and I thought we had reached the peak maybe about a month ago, but somehow here we are and they're still going back and forth. And a lot of people think that I'm like siding with Trisha. I'm not at all siding with Trisha. I don't understand why anybody would say that when I've literally called her trash. Like, I don't get that. If I was siding with Trisha, I would literally have never in a million years made a video about all of this. And some people even think and have alleged that we're on payroll. Like that is the oldest and dumbest thing that people can accuse people on YouTube of. Trust me, I wish I was on someone's payroll so I did not have to make videos right now. I'm dealing with a death in my family. Like I would much rather have someone pay me to keep my mouth shut than actually have to get on here and make videos at this specific point in time because that would just be easier for me. You know what I mean? But you guys, please let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Please remain respectful of one another. I know that this is a lot and a lot of emotions are put into this and a lot of people are upset at Ethan and a lot of people are upset with Trisha. But ultimately, this is what you get after years upon years and years and years of people note taking and trying to hold you accountable for the things that you've said and done to people so like I said before in one way I feel like Trisha is deserving of people critiquing her and holding her accountable now I'm not agreeing with everything holding her accountable is fine and attacking her job and sponsors and making death threats and everything that's not okay but if you want to hold Trisha's feet to the fire for the things that Trisha has said and done 
absolutely do that. And then on the other side of it, there's people mad at Ethan saying that he's made homophobic slurs and all kinds of different things in the past. But you guys, please let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. I hope you all have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.